Okay, you know how I tell you guys when you freeze stuff, you don't want to just heat it and it's, you know, like it is, you want to spruce it up a little bit? Well, I'm going to spruce up this mac and cheese, okay? So, I'm going to melt a little butter first. Let's do that real quick. I should have had that melted before I came on. But we're going to melt a little butter on here. Um, give me one second. Okay. So, this is my way of doing it. I'm pretty sure there's so many different ways to do this, but this is my way. Melted butter on here. Get down in there. That may seem like a lot, but it's not. Then we're gonna take some cheese. I'm gonna take some mozzarella. I'm gonna put that on there. Then we're gonna take some sharp cheese. And we're gonna put that on there. I'm going to step down in there like, like so. Right? And then we're going to take a little more mozzarella. Right? And if you have like a toothpick, uh, I'm going to do toothpick. I'm going to take the toothpick and I'm going to hold it and I'm just going to open it up a little bit. So while it's reheating, everything will ooze on down in there. Alright, you feeling me? Oh yeah. And since the cheese has like a little salt in it, we're not going to do that, okay? Because when I seasoned it, I seasoned it really, really good. And uh, we just want to enhance it. So now I'm going to place it in the Power XL. And I'm going to turn it on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reheat. I'm going to put this thing on reheat. Let me show you. You see all the things you can do with this, y'all? What a good investment. And let's put it back to 350. You see everything you can do with this baby? It's all of that. So we're gonna reheat it. Then, I took some greens out, right? And so far, the only thing I've done with these greens is I've taken and I sliced up some onion, right? I'm gonna take some of the um, pepper vinegar We're gonna bring it alive, right? And then, uh, uh give me a second here. We're gonna take a little better than bouillon on the chicken. Not a lot. Maybe about there. And we're gonna stick that in there and we're gonna stir that up in there. And we're gonna let that do what it do. Stir it up in there. See how the meat is looking in there? Mm -hmm. Don't take much, but you don't want to just reheat it, you know, because it does lose some of its bang. It does, because you froze it, you know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure, and if I need anything else, I don't know. But so far, normally when I do this, I, that's all I ever need, like, okay? Okay. 